All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here, talking real music and real issues, swerving way out of my lane and doing it in real time for a few real people out here just like you and just like me. So blame this on a patron. Uh, I believe Alan sent this to me, who's a fairly new patron, so you can blame him. Uh, and I wasn't going to cover this, but pretty slow news day so far in the world of uh, geezer rock. And, uh, you know, you can only cover lead singers quitting bands and bands breaking up and so forth uh, so many times. Although, you know, I will cover those uh, when they happen and they will be happening again. And uh, this one here looks a little suspicious. So I figured I would uh, do a little screen sharing here. So healthy 27-year-old has died. He's dead. After the NHS wrongly gave him. Now, I don't know if I should say this out loud because I'll get censored, banned, blocked. But it's one of those safe and effective products. Super safe and effective. Let me say it again. It's amazing, this product. It's so amazing that this guy isn't here anymore. Um, and the product was made by Zeneca Astra. OK, we'll try that instead of AZ, we'll call it ZA. So what's sad, this is folks, look at this picture. All right. Dad and his son. And he doesn't have a dad anymore. A healthy 27 year old died from a reaction to, again, this um, ridiculous product after NHS mistakes meant he wrongly received this product. He he got it by accident. Now, let me um let me pose something here. So, the media coverage that I get on a daily basis is full steam ahead. Hey, it's fall. Have you gotten your updated booster? That's what I hear all the time. Hey, we got an updated booster for you. And again, I'm going to throw the car seat analogy out one more time. Going to keep doing it. What happens when you've got one bad car seat? A recall, that is correct. And they throw these car seats away. You're not allowed to use them anymore. In fact, if you've had a car seat for too long, and I know this doesn't really relate to one of these super safe and effective products, although some of them sit around for quite some time, and you have to wonder if uh, you know the composition of one of these safe and effective products changes if they sit around too long anyway, you can't even use a car seat that someone else used for a while. You can't use it. Nope. It's got an expiration date on it. So they're obviously more vigilant about car seats than they are about um, these products that they um, give to people. So he's healthy, 27. Remember that, 27-year-old. His name is Jack Last. That's who he was. From Stowe Market in Suffolk, and he... Uh, died because of a combination of system shortcomings, human error, and tragic, unfortunate timing. Um, so they're blaming they're blaming the system. They're not blaming the product. This is unbelievable. So it says here he suffered a rare side effect, according to an independent report into his death. Huh, I thought there were no side effects. I thought everything was hunky-dory, that this was full steam ahead. That's why they're still advertising here in the United States. They have uh, the CDC telling you, hey, you know, we're going into the fall and there's a variant floating around. And the best way to protect against your variant is to uh, get the new concoction, which was formulated prior to when we knew what the variant was actually going to be, which doesn't make any sense to me. Sorry, doesn't make any sense how you know in advance what a variant is going to do. I'm sorry. I It's like, you know, prophecy. Hello. You know ahead of time? Really? Are you God? Do you know ahead of time? Are you a prophet? No, no. We just knew that it was going to mutate this way, and so we designed a new booster to, you know, head off this variant before it mutates again. And so when it mutates again, do you have a new formula waiting? This is madness to me, people. This is so ridiculous, and sorry, I've been right for four years. 
and I continue to be right, and uh, I will toot my own horn, but it's not me. It's just people out here who are independent and who like to think rather than just do what everyone else tells them to do. So they're blaming the system. And this guy, again, they're, they're going to tell you, it's a rare side effect. It's very rare. Okay, car seat analogy. Car seat analogy. Sorry, we throw the car seats out. If one fails, guess what? We discontinue. That's what you're supposed to do. The review, which is interesting that they actually reviewed, found that uh, this gentleman, Jack Last, was wrongly given. He wrongly given the uh, vapination. We'll call it a vap. A vap. He got a vap. And uh, that uh, resulted in failures in his care. Okay. After that. So there were failures in his care once his reaction happened. Um, then they're now blaming the hospital, which we all know about the protocols here in the United States, the hospital protocols, which again, you know, you got to get a ventilator going, you got to get a tube going down their throat, you got to get remdesivir, you got to get all these things, which I have a feeling it, that was opposite day, and it, and it happened everywhere. It, it was like the opposite of, of what maybe would have been a better solution. Just maybe, all right? I'm trying to be subtle here because the banning, the shadow banning, the censorship, you know, they just remove videos, too. They just take them down. <laughs> I'm sorry. Here at the six-minute mark, you were talking about vapination. What's a vapination? We don't know. All right. Well, it's uh, when your insides uh, vaporize. That's a vapination. And this gentleman is no longer with us. And so what are we going to do? What are we going to do to fix this problem? So they're blaming the hospital. They're blaming the rare side effect. Now, again... How is that a thing when the government here and the government over there are constantly still selling this to you? They're spending, I'm sure, millions of dollars on propaganda to convince you you need to go out and get another one. A coroner previously ruled that uh, this gentleman had died from bleeding on the brain, which was a result of his body's reaction to this safe and effective product. Really? Brain bleeding? Okay, in a normal world, full stop, this wouldn't go forward. You'd never see this again. We tried this. Uh, this happened a few times, even if it's just a few times, even if it's just once. You say, you know, why would this happen? I mean, when I eat broccoli, right? Broccoli is a safe and effective product. You know, I go to the store and I look, at the broccoli, and I say, I'm going to eat this. I, I take it home, I eat it, no reactions, none whatsoever. In fact, I'm putting nutrients in my body. And most people would agree that broccoli is safe and effective for um, not only your health, but uh, for longevity. I mean, it's almost a proven fact, right? But this, this is just the opposite. This is, okay, so what's in this product? Do we know? Has anyone ever told us the exact ingredients of what's in this? No. But when I go to the store, I look at the label, it says broccoli. All right, that's it, broccoli. It could be organic broccoli. It could be GMO broccoli. So I kind of stick to the organic, right? Because at least I know it's grown organically. So I know what's in it. So this gentleman here worked as an engineer for Caterpillar Machinery. He was given... This wonderful safe, and I keep saying this because I don't want to get censored. So I want the algorithm to know what they've been saying all along. This safe and effective product. Uh, he was given this product March of 2021 because the system used by the NHS incorrectly indicated that he was living with his parents. So government error, they're blaming government error. So there are like 19 different things wrong with this one story. So the government, through their, th through their negligence and their product, which they basically foisted upon everyone, I mean, this is a, like a double, triple, quadruple error. And I, I just, I'm just, I'm speechless. 
All right. So um, they said he was living with his parents. And then they say one of whom was wrongly classed as being in a high risk group. Okay. So what does that have to do with the, the, the son? Um, an independent review has not concluded that the, the decision to classify the parent's clinical condition as a lung disease was erroneous, and that, therefore, last should not have been invited. Invited? He was invited. Excuse me. Hi. Uh, I'm the Grim Reaper. Would you like to come over here and uh, see what I've got in my bag of tricks? So last shouldn't have been invited for his vapination. NHS records show one of his parents as having chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, otherwise known as COPD, leading to them being classified as high risk. So let me let me ask a question here. That's a little bit of a common sense. Gee, I could have had a V8. Uh, um, so he's 27 and very healthy. And they give him this, and he's no longer 27 and very healthy. He's dead. So you're going to give this to the people who are high, high risk, who have COPD? Huh? What? what? Th th that makes so much no sense to me. All right. I, I, the way I phrase that, I'm not sure I got that point across. It makes so much no sense to me. Yeah, I just invented something new. You guys can use that, all right? However, however, there's more. The report said a review of the GP records by the clinical... You know, there's always a clinical expert. There's always an expert who's smarter than you. Are you smarter than our doctors, Dave? Yes! Yes, I am! How's that? Yes! Sorry if I broke a few eardrums. I'm going to go with yes. How's that? All right? Um... Anyway, let me get back to this. So the clinical expert advisor identified that there were no further reviews or active treatment of, C in other words, these people weren't treated for COPD after 2016. So Ken, they erred there as well. They further concluded there was no firm evidence of COPD and the parent's chronic cough was thought to be more asthma related by the respiratory consultant. Oh, they're just geniuses here. They've got this all figured out, diagnosed, figured out. Well, we thought they had COPD, but maybe it's asthma related. I thought they were high risk. So let's give everyone their, uh, their safe and effective product. And by accident, let's give it to the sun. Uh, this is like Keystone cop doctors or administrators. Last was thought to be living with his relatives because the system used by the local NHS group matched people by their landline phone numbers. Landlines? Seriously? Despite Last having asked for this information to be removed from his record. <laughs> so this guy wanted privacy and uh, they didn't afford him any privacy. That's the brave new world, folks. George Orwell underpredicted everything, undercalculated. Uh, when he was invited, they use us again, invited. Hi, again, Grim Reaper here. Come on over. The price is dead. Um, he was invited for his vaccination. Clinical commissioning groups were struggling to use their remaining. No, no, they're not going to say this. They, they were struggling to use their remaining AZ stock. They're struggling to get rid of it. You know, it's going to expire. We got to get rid of this AZ. So in addition to the fact that this caused death, okay, there's basically saying, you know, we're trying to get rid of this AZ stuff and uh, let's just give it to this 27-year-old. He'll be fine. And it says here that there had been a national requirement to limit wastage. Huh? So you you can't waste. So you've just got to give it to everybody you can. Or what? You you put it in the wastewater so then they can go test the wastewater and then find out that the wastewater is testing positive. And then freak out and then make some more of this stuff to send it out to everybody. Are, are you following this, by the way? Is that anybody still with me here? Uh, 
last received the um, vaccination on March 30th of 2021. The following day, NHS England published updated guidance, which said that household contacts of people with severe in a immunosuppression had to show documentary evidence of their address. So they're telling you, this is like big brother, excuse me, can we just see all of your health records like right now? Just turn them over to us. The report concluded that if these checks had been required when uh, he was given this safe and effective product, he would have seen to be ineligible Oh, my. So it sounds like they're blaming him. Oh, my gosh, they are. This is like blaming Donald Trump for getting shot at. I, I'm, I'm losing it, folks. I'm losing it. So they're, they're blaming the dead guy because um, if these checks had been required when he was um, given the product, he would have been seen as ineligible. The engineer is likely to have one of the last, his name was last, but it says here, the engineer is likely to have been one of the last patients in the younger age range to have received the AZ because just over a week later, official advice recommended that under 30s should be offered an alternative following concerns about this. Blood thickage, we'll call it. Blood jamming up inside of arteries and stuff. This is this is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. So the punchline over there, and I thought this was correct, that they had taken this stuff off the market, the AZ. Um, a week later. Under why why is this hurting people under 30? So again, it just just bizarre to me, but yet they're saying it's fine for old folks who are immunocompromised or who have comorbidities, COPD and whatnot, just give it to them instead. This is insanity, all right? And this should be investigated, and these people should be prosecuted, and this stuff should be shot into outer space with Elon Musk. Hopefully the gravitational pull will get it out of Earth's orbit. Send it, I don't know, send it to Venus. It's it's not very good on Venus. I hear it's a little warm. All right. I hear the atmosphere isn't so great there. So maybe it'll burn up if we can send it to Venus. But holy crap. Talk about just a, a litany of failures, and I just feel sad. One more look at this guy. Just look at that man, all right? He's dead, and his boy has no father now. All right, that's the government, hard at work. Do you think more government is the solution to problems? I don't know. You need to go back to history, to look through history, take some civics uh, courses, just just look at the obvious, how it fails. I'm not saying the private sector is perfect, and the private sector now kind of merging with government is really dangerous. That's what RFK was running his campaign about, and now it's kind of uh, been taken over by Trump. Trump agrees that that stuff is really bad. I don't know. What do you think should happen here? Do you think we should just you know, keep whistling past the graveyard and pretend nothing's going on, right? Ah, safe and effective, Dave. Nothing happened to me. This is what I hear all the time. Well, I did it. Fine. Good for you. You dodged a bullet. You dodged a bullet. And who, who doesn't feel a little worried, though, that maybe there's a ticking time bomb? You know, if you did that, I, I've been told by... Well, let me just say this. I've seen doctors talk about this. Doctors, medical doctors, you know, fully licensed, accredited medical doctors. And then, of course, after this happened, they were all ostracized for saying things like, well, it might take like 10 years to know for sure. 
if you're in the clear. Just putting it out there. That's what I heard. So, you know, if you need a source for that, you know, hit me up on Patreon, buy me a coffee, and uh, I'll try to find the quotes and the videos for that and the people to talk to. Uh, this is a tragedy, and we really need to pay attention to this. And I'll tell you one thing. Donald Trump made some mistakes in 2020, and it was one of the reasons I didn't want to vote for him again. But here's the deal. If Harris gets in there, all of this stuff is full steam ahead. And she's going to celebrate all of the restrictions that we had, the social distancing, the masking, all of that stuff under her administration would come back full force. And who do you think is funding her campaign? Do you think it could be a company like the AZ company or the um, Pfizer company or any of those, do you think? I think all of those companies are behind her and a lot of other politicians. Hence, that's why even people on your team might not even be speaking out because they got to run a campaign. You know, just, just like the TV uh, shows, they need ad dollars. This episode of NCIS is brought to you by Pfizer, you know, and uh, Ozempic. 20 Ozempic commercials, really, in one hour? And then you ruin a great song by Pilot on top of it? There, there's the music content. If you're waiting, Pilot. The song originally is called Magic. It's not called o o o Ozempic. Just to clarify. All right, I'm done talking. I have done enough talking. God help me. God help all of us, seriously. People really need to lean on their faith in times like these. And uh, Jesus is the way. He's the only way, folks. He's it. He's our only hope. Just uh, write that down.